quest for the moss bow. A Rec Room Tale The king leads Emerald into a room with a single book on a pillar. What is this place? This book belonged to someone who wanted to prove myths and legends are real. I believe this one will be of great interest to you. On the page is a sketch of a bow. So, what's so special about it? Legend says it's crafted by the earth itself, known to be unbreakable. You wanted an adventure? I give you an adventure. Has anyone else gone after it? One person years ago. Her name was Sophie, and no one has heard of her since. Emerald continues reading the text, learning where it's believed the bow's location is. I'll be back as soon as I can. Emerald rushes out of the room, excited to start the quest. Inside the courtyard, two rangers start making camp, Luca and Oglin. So, you survived the goblins? Well, I almost died. So, you're a ranger again. I've actually got another quest. I could do with some help. Anything you say, boss. Let's get going. The trio leaves the courtyard and starts their adventure. Are you sure the Blood Mountains is the right place? That's what is said in the book. It's just a name. The mountains aren't actually colored by blood. And yet this place still gives me the creeps. We should make camp for the night. Find the cave tomorrow. I'll take first watch. Fine by me. The trio make a roaring fire and rests while Luca stands on guard. Off in the distance, Luca spots movement and decides to investigate. Who's there? Idol! Luca turns around to see a horde of goblins coming towards him. He starts shooting the goblins, but knows he cannot escape. Not like this. Luca fires an arrow towards Emerald and Oaklyn, waking them up. They look over in time to see Luca jump off the cliff. What do we do? We have to beat them to the pass. Emerald starts running up the mountain with Oaklyn following just behind him. As they get closer to the fork, they manage to move past the goblins. Shouldn't we fight them? They're not the objective. They should be. They, they killed Luca. They didn't kill him. He died on his own terms. The duo keeps running, eventually finding a cave. Quick, in here! Are you sure? Better than out with the goblins! Emerald and Oakland enter the cave and start to descend. How far does this go? What makes you think I know? It's your quest. I wasn't told much. Not like the book held a step-by-step -step instruction guide. Well, we've been traveling for ages. Wouldn't surprise me if we weren't in our land anymore. The duo arrives at an opening with a slope leading down to the ground floor with an altar in the middle. Goblins surround the altar, worshipping an idol in the center. The moss bow. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Well, we've found the bow. Kill the goblins. Claim the bow, return to the king. Well, what are we waiting for? The duo start descending towards the altar. Who goes there? On the other side of the room, a half-dead figure appears. What is that? It looks like a ghost. I prefer the term spirit. Are you Sophie? I was once known by that name. You know her? The king told me about you. I guess you found the bow. Mm-hmm. I did. I held it in my hands for a few precious moments before I was sliced by a goblin's sword. If you were killed, how are you still here? Sophie moves her hand towards her neck. My necklace kept me around. Not exactly me. More of an echo of who I used to be. All necklaces have different enchantments. What does yours do? More fun to discover. Hmm. So, you don't know. 
Not a clue. I'm sure I'll find out one day. <laughs> I am glad you two are here. I've been wanting a physical body for so long now. Sophie moves towards the duo. Emerald jumps down to the altar and grabs the bow. Idol! Idol! As Emerald turns around, he sees Sophie making her way to Oakland. Emerald fires an arrow at Sophie, but it goes straight through her. Should have seen that coming. Emerald looks around to the cave for a solution. Of course! Emerald jumps off the rock and shoots the goblins. Sophie gets closer to Oakland, who is frozen in place. <coughs> Sophie turns towards Emerald, who's standing next to the fire. Sophie begins to fade, but tries reaching Oakland before she disappears. Emerald returns to Oakland. Are you okay? Did she hurt you? Um, I'm... I... I think I'm fine. What did you do? I saw her necklace. She said it's what's keeping her around, so... Into the fire it went. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for helping me get this bow. Let's go. Emerald and Oakland leave the cave to return to the castle. Emerald shows off the bow to the king. Inside a room, Oakland looks into a mirror and for a second sees Sophie in her place. 